forward, but that's a positive looking team which could easily operate a 4-3-3 system with Mickey Weir in the flank and Gareth Evans joined through the middle by Steve Archibald who starts his first match of the season after five appearances as a substitute. He's still to score this season but he was Hibs top scorer last year with 16 goals. And young Paul Kane continues his new career at right back after a successful early year at Easter Road in attack and in midfield. And he's certainly proving to be a very valuable player indeed. Hearts send out the same 11 for the fourth match in a row with Wayne Foster retaining his place in attack to the exclusion of John Robertson who's on the bench alongside their recent signing from Rangers, Dave Kirkwood. And it's a first Edinburgh derby for Dave McCreary, the very experienced Northern Ireland international, who will play a key role in the battle to win the centre of the field. And Hart's scoring hopes rest chiefly on 21-year-old Scott Crabb, who scored no fewer than 11 goals this season, but who plays this afternoon with heavy strapping on that thigh injury. And the referee this afternoon, and also from Edinburgh, Mr Andrew Waddle. Well, Hart start the match, forcing Hibs to play down the hill in the first half. Not their favoured way at the start of the match. And Hibs hoping to head back from the disappointment of three straight defeats. They've lost to Aberdeen and to Rangers by three goals to nil. And then lost again in midweek after extra time to FC Liège. So the league hopes stuttering a little with these two league defeats. Hart at the same time making a good challenge in the early part of the season. And of course, the Edinburgh Derby has something special in terms of the importance of both sides. The squad travel headed on, Foster, and it's eased back by Cooper. Calming influence at the back for Hits. Evans trying to turn. It's back with Cooper. Now we are. Thinking with Archibald and Collins. Snedden looking for Evans. A good challenge made by McLaren. Here's Gordon Hunter. And now Kane. Good play by Archibald. Chesting that down for Brian Hamilton. Levine made the important challenge for Hearts. Collins. Brian Hamilton on the far side is Mitchell. The tackle came from Mackay. Snedden safely taken in by Henry Smith. Cage header gives Hart the throw. Tackled there by Kane. We think against the hip fullback. Exchanging a smile with Foster. Bad end to McKinley. Now Levine. Cahoon's lay off, there's Mackay, that's for Crabb, it's great play from Hartz. Gorham coming out, the free kick is given against Hartz. Scott Crabb is penalised, and Crabb will be in trouble for his protests. Superb play, Cahoon to Mackay, the love pass into the path of Crabb, there was Gorham. Crabb left his foot in there, the referee gave the free kick. And Crabb has been lectured sternly for his spot of descent. the back four to Paul Kane. Not enough space for that pass to Weir, so it throws the hearts. I would want to see Mickey Weir seeing lots of possession on the flank. So far he's been busy checking back in McKinley. Handball there by Crabb. He kick taken quickly. Hamilton looking for Evans. Concedes a needless corner kick for the attempted pass back to Smith. Well, that is remarkable how often 
corner kicks given away in such fashion result in problems for the defence. And Cooper joined the attack for Hibbs. Weir back to Collins. Up goes Mitchell. Smith is also in the box. Thurston wins the high ball. Barron got a touch. Good play by Evans, away from McLaren. Back it goes towards Mitchell, and a fine save by Henry Smith. He must have seen that very late indeed, that was good goalkeeping. Well set up again by Hibbs, Hamilton to Evans, who slipped his man, Alan McLaren, then pulled it back, Mitchell took it first time, and a cross went Smith. Hunter playing it, the far side where Mitchell's made a good run again. Taking on Mackay. Out it goes, the corner kick is given, much to the consternation of Mackay. Uh, Dan Mitchell has done well on the left for him so far in the match. Snedden, in number three in the box for Collins sending over the corner. Here's McCleary to Kane. Evans going across, brought down by Smith, and the referee has given a corner kick. Well, I can't see any way in which it was a corner kick, whatever it was. Evans clearly thought it was a penalty. There was Kane with a shot, lofted through there. A good ball by Mitchell. There was Gareth Evans, who got the ball for certainly played away, and that looked like a penalty kick. Up goes Smith, that's a fine save under pressure from Snedden. Smith, the relieved man, I've no doubt, some two counts, making that good save, but also the fact that the referee gave the corner kick rather than a penalty kick, which seems to indicate the referee thought that Smith punched the ball behind for the corner, when in fact he made no contact, I reckon. Through the middle it goes for Cahoon, he's onside, that's great goalkeeping by Andy Gordon. And McLaren now having to be careful with the pass back. What well, a dead Jew there to Andy Gordon from Hibbs. He realised the problem was there as that ball came through with Cahoon appearing to be well onside and Gordon killed the danger before it really began. Evans to Hamilton. Good play at Kane again. Seeing a lot of the ball in the right back position for Hibbs. Crab turns it back, there's McKinley and Foster. Crab. Tackle made by Kane. Very solid and effective. Now Mickey Weir. Far post ball, Henry Smith had to be careful. The ball appeared to swirl in the air as it came towards the keeper. Good piece of handling. Mickey Weir, his favourite position, wide on the right. And well taken by Smith. Collins going in on McCleary. No free kick given. Cleary's head was low as Collins made the challenge. It's Foster now breaking on the right for Hearts. And a beautifully timed tackle again from Neil Cooper. Here's Cahoon. Now Foster, pulling it back for Bannon. 32 minutes gone, the Hawks fans go wild as Eamon Bannon gives his team the lead. Coon did well, sidestepping away there from Neil Cooper. The shot ricocheting there into the path of Foster. This is a great pullback by Foster. Bannon coming in, Gorham got a touch, but he couldn't keep it out. And Hearts are in front. Well, Bannon's second goal of the season. Held it on by Hunter, there's McKinley. Cahoon doing well for Hearts. Fine play by Kane. Crab anticipating a headed pass back, which didn't come. There's Collins. Using some pace to try to get away from McCreary. 
free kick's been given. Very determined customer, Dave McCleary. Spoken to by the referee. There was Collins. And the tackle from McCleary. A lecture given to the Northern Ireland International. And it's free kick which Hibs have taken quickly. There's Mitchell. Looking for Archibald. Hibs have equalised. Steve Archibald's first of the season. And beautifully finished. Here was Graham Mitchell turning to his right foot. Now just look at the way Archibald takes this. Easing the ball under the crossbar away from Henry Smith. That was striking of the highest class. Six minutes from half-time. Easter Road lost to life as Hibs get back in level terms. Oh, what a match we now have in our hands. The difference made by a couple of goals. In all fairness, a little more than Hibs deserve in the balance of play so far. Turn away there by McPherson and the Hibs fans chant Archie Archie for this man, Steve Archibald. Now 33 years old, but capable still of these touches of class which can turn games. Spinning off the head of Hamilton, so there's a happy at Man, although you wouldn't know it from that expression, Alec Miller, the Hibs manager. Cooper did well, showing his composure, keeping his eye on the ball. Back to Mackay, he is again. Well, that was deflected behind for the corner kick to Hart. Who always look menacing when they come forward. Gary Mackay doing a good job on the right side of the midfield. So perhaps some more work for Andy Gorham. Carson's <laughs> header, there's Crab and a ton. Great block there by Gorham. Well, superb striking play there by Scott Crabb. McPherson with the header, nodding that down. And look at the quality of this turn from Scott Crabb. Gorham seeing that very late and just getting down in time. Snedden. And there's Mitchell playing it forward for Evans. And the whistle has gone for a free kick to Hart. An offside decision. Well, really has been a very entertaining first 45 minutes with Hibbs having a lot of the pressure, but Hearts looking very dangerous indeed every time they've managed to get forward. And they showed that with the first goal of the match. Of course, it to battle again. It was Eamon Bannon who got the opening goal. Half time after some great Edinburgh Derby entertainment and controversy raging. There's Steve Archibald who got the equalising goal, but controversy raging over a possible penalty kick for him to put on his goals to score. Then Eamon Bannon in 32 minutes going in on a Wayne Foster cut back to beat Andy Gorham before that classical piece of head work from Steve Archibald from Graham Mitchell's cross made the half time score. Here it is the road. Hibbs won, Hearts won.